Hi guys, it's Darlene from Chalk Couture. I'm gonna show you this quick project here. This is our graduate one. It's called The Tassel Was Worth the Hassle. So I have my stuff laid out here. I'm gonna do the, these words first so that I can have room at the top to do all of the, um, the cap and the words. And I'm gonna put my granddaughter's name at the bottom. So this is a brand new transfer. We're gonna peel it off of the backer sheet and we're gonna fuzz it so that it doesn't have too much sticky on this. I'm using a board that I painted. I painted it with acrylic paint and then I sanded it and then I put wax on it. So I'm gonna fuzz this so that it doesn't stick too much to my surface. You don't wanna take off any of the, the paint. You want the you want this to release afterwards. I have my colors here. I'm gonna do this for my granddaughter. Her, her school colors are um, purple and gold. So I'm going to go back and forth with the purple and the gold. So I'll do purple, gold, purple, gold, purple. And what I'll do is I'll, I'm gonna use the pull and peel as we go. I'm gonna use mini squeegees and regular squeegees and I'll just pull the transfer. There's different ways to do this. Sometimes I use a paper towel to lay on top of this. This one, because it's all in lines, it should be fairly easy to just pull each section as I get a certain section done. I can go ahead and I can pull it. And I'm hoping that this yellow is gonna show up because I wanted to do her colors. And these are our silkscreen transfers. They have a fabric silk screen in them. They're similar to a stencil, but it has the fabric silk screen that helps it. Oops, as my, don't do that. <laughs> as my little stir stick come, came right out of there. You're gonna remove the excess, put that back into the jar. You wanna have a nice smooth surface right here. And then we're gonna pull this down. So I'm just pulling this down so that it doesn't dry. Oh good, okay, so it's gonna do just fine. And then I'm gonna carefully lay it back down and then I'm gonna go on with the next row. I'm gonna do our purple. This is our grape soda. And the yellow is bumblebee. You want these to be the consistency of sour cream or yogurt. If it's too thick, you're going to add a little bit of water. If it's too thin, you're gonna leave it let it sit and it will start to thicken up. My yellow has a few little lumps in it. Um, just press hard. Make sure that you get all those pressed out. The purple is nice and smooth so they can have different consistencies because I've had the yellow open for a long time at the shows and so it got some lumps in it. It still works fine. You just want to make sure that you're pressing out all of those lumps. So you're working quickly, making sure that the chalk paste does not dry on your transfer, putting the excess back into your jar. And then you can pull your transfer. So you're gonna to pull top to bottom or side to side. Perfect, look at that, that's so awesome. And there's like a little dot there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this into my water bath. A water bath is just a container of water that you have waiting for you. And I have a little stylus. I can touch up right there where where that purple didn't go through and you'll never see that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dry this so I don't put my hand in it. Okay, it dries really fast and I'm not putting anything on top of that so I don't need to um, bring it down to room temperature. I wanna do the little cap 
I'm gonna pull this off of the backer sheet and I'm gonna fuzz this once and take my, and you can, you know what? You can do this on your t-shirt. It's a small one. So if you have a small transfer, just put it onto your t-shirt and that's gonna go right there. I'm gonna use black because most of the time the caps are black and this little, the little tassel at the bottom, I think that I should do that with the purple. I think that would be cute. So I'm trying to do just this part and leave the tassel open. Okay, I'm gonna take my, my little mini and I'm just gonna dip it, the corner of it. You could use a multi-tool um, and do this but this little mini is really cute um, and really easy to work with. Okay, gonna peel my transfer. So you're gonna peel side to side or top to bottom. Perfect. Put that into my water bath. Wiping my fingers. I'm gonna go ahead and dry this really quickly. Okay, and then I'm gonna put class up at the top here. And then I'm gonna put the years on the side. So this needs to be fuzzed. I'm gonna fuzz it on my shirt. And then I'm going to put this right up here. The part that you need to press down is this part. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that part in the yellow, and then I'll do the the numbers, the class of 2019. I'll do um, the numbers in my purple. I'm gonna pull side to side. Now that didn't show up very well. All right, so I'm going to I'm gonna wipe that off. I'm gonna get my Clorox wipe. You can't see it because it's tiny, so I'm not gonna be able to use yellow on a tiny um, on a tiny area. Okay because it's not a strong color. If this was black, then it would show up. So I'm gonna wash that transfer, and I'm gonna use, I'll use, um, I will just use black, and then I'll use my, um, my grape soda on the other. So, so that's just something that you need to be aware of, that you have to pick a color that's right. Your color has to have a contrast. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try again. We'll do, we'll just do this in black. We have our little multi-tool right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull that because we want it to show up. And I'm going to dry this real quickly. And then I have my numbers here. 2019. So what I need to do is I need, okay, so I'm going to make sure that that's dry. So 2-0 oh, and then 1-9. So what I should do is I should try to get, um, my, my numbers all wind up so that I'll do the, I'll do the zero and the one first and then I'll do the others. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fuzz this and it's gonna overlap slightly. So I need to be careful about that. Okay. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. I am doing the best that I can. You could get out a ruler and you could measure this, but you don't have to. We are simply going to eyeball this and it will be just fine. Okay, I'm gonna use my purple. This is my grape soda. Just dipping the multi-tool into that. Gonna pull each of these 
put this into my water bath. And I dry this really quickly. Make sure it's not hot. And then we're going to put our 2O on this side. Going to fuzz this. So this is really fun for someone who's graduating. Don't want it to be really close. I'm trying to get it just perfect and I didn't want to stretch it either. 2019. It's going to be so funny next year with 2020. Okay, so trying to get the same amount of distance. You can see through it, so so that's what I'm looking at. I'm trying to trying to get it even. I'm gonna take my little mini here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this. Okay, so that's done. And I, I wanted to add her name at the bottom, so I'm going to try that. We'll see. I have not done this before. So this is our script lettering. And I'm thinking that I need to do it in black because I have purple right here already. So I really think that I need to do this in black. And it has registration marks, how this overlaps. And you have to draw in between each letter. So... I need to figure out where I need to start. I think that I need to start right here. I'm going to fuzz this once. And the registration marks um, are going to show up, but I think that I'm going to be able to figure this out. I don't... Okay. So I can use... Um, I. Well, I could use the blue painter's tape, but I think I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and I am just going to wing it. I could put down blue painter's tape so that it did not show up on here. If I use my registration marks on the wood, then sometimes it won't come off. On the chalkboard, it's nice and easy. And I am getting, I'm getting so messy. All right, so I'm gonna peel this off and I'm gonna dry it. You have to dry in between each letter. Grabbing a paper towel to try to wipe my hand. Okay, so you don't wanna put your next letter down onto a hot surface. So I'm going to I'm going to fuzz this. I think for this part I probably do need to use the blue painter's tape unfortunately. Um but I don't want it to go up onto onto the hassle part. So I am going to I'll show you what I'm going to do. All right. So I want to start that about right there. I'm going to put this underneath. And these little registration marks, they make a circle. So when you, after, and I keep putting my fingers in that. Let me clean this off first. When you use these and they go down into your super stash, they can get messy. And then you get messy too. So what, what you do with this is you chalk that part and then this part up here is supposed to make a circle. So there's our A going into the water bath. I'm gonna dry this. You have to dry in between. That's the problem with the letters is that you need to make sure it's dry in between, but it dries really quickly. Just like that, it's that fast. Make sure it's not hot and make sure you're not getting stuff onto your surface there. I'm gonna take my eye and I'm going to fuzz this on my shirt and I'm going to line it up so that 
this part makes a circle and that is how you know where it goes. So I can kind of see it through there. It may not be perfect, but it's going to be very close. That is just messy. Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I used this on my live and I didn't wash it. I thought I would go straight from my live into this. Okay. All right. Um, oh, I didn't do my circle at the top. That's okay. That's an Etsy sale. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to dry this really quickly. Okay, so I'm not good at this, doing the, <laughs> doing the letters. Oh my goodness. H-A-I-L-E-Y. At least I'm going to spell it right. Um, what I'm going to end up doing is joining that together because it did not join. I am just going to wing this. I think it's going to be easier for me to do that than to try to figure out these registration marks. I can see that needs to overlap right there. This over here, I need to take just a little bit and I need to join that. Okay, now it's fine. I'm going to wipe this. This is so messy. It's disgusting. Gonna dip it into my chalk paste you don't need a lot and just spread it my chalk paste is getting low that is my super stash that I've had since August and it's lasting a long time okay so I'm gonna dry that up two more letters I'm gonna pull this off because we're not using that want to make sure it's not hot okay and it's a little hot if you put your hand on there it will take away the heat now we have our E and the E actually does not join with it the E is floating there and then the Y will join so I am not gonna worry about that H-A-I-L-E-Y Haley <laughs> okay, so because I know my registration mark was supposed to be up like that. So we're going to do our E. I haven't used the fonts before. This is the first time. So interesting. Okay. Yeah, the E didn't have anything on the side where it joined, so... I think that's good. And, and it's not going to be completely centered, but I'm not going to worry about that. This is for my granddaughter. She is graduating from high school. And hopefully my, hopefully my camera didn't stop. Let me check. Okay, we're still going. Sometimes when I get a notification, it will kick me off. And then I'm really sad. Okay, I hope that this Y will fit on here. Our Y is going to be right at the bottom. I'm not going to say that's poor planning. I actually, um, this whole board was, um, it was not going to fit on it. You know what? I am just going to do it like that and we will be fine. <laughs> my granddaughter will love it. So finishing up my last letter. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching my lives. I love being able to teach everybody and give them little tips. Even if you're a designer yourself, it's always nice. I go in and I watch other people's, um, their lives, their tutorials, um, I like to learn other ways of doing things. Okay, perfect. And actually, it's not too bad. I could put a little heart here. I think this one actually has a heart in it. Um, let me see. Where are those letters at? Okay. 
Okay, this is all the letters. I'm going to quickly check. I think it actually has a heart. And that would be really cute. Um, okay, I am not finding, I'm not finding the heart quickly, but I, I really think that it had a heart with it. So let me see what else I might have in my little drawer here. Okay, I have my Valentine's ones. And, okay, well, that's one way to get them out. <laughs> I just dumped them out. I think a little heart would be so cute right there. Like, just just a tiny heart. So, this is a Valentine's. These are all my Valentine's ones. I have all my transfers below. And I am going to just put a little purple heart. That will even it out. There's things that you can do. Um, I'm going to set it out. I don't need it to be right up next to there. I'm going to put just a little bit of our purple, our grape soda. And I think this will just finish it off. This will even it out. All right. How's that? Okay, this is going into my water bath. And we are done. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. And I will show you the rest of it. Sorry, this whole thing does not fit in here. I'll take a picture and I will put the whole thing um, on there. Okay, have a great day.